Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle and today I'm unboxing my first Pop in a Box subscription. I've already made a video showing you my Pop Funko collection that I already had and some surprise Pop Funkos that my husband had bought me. I haven't actually put that video up so that will go up before this one but then what I'm talking about now should hopefully make sense if you saw that video. And anyway, so we've subscribed to Pop in a Box and it was 50% off our first subscription order. So we made full use of that and ordered 12 Pop Funkos for less than £50 plus postage and packing. It's postage and packing no matter how many you subscribe to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I believe are the numbers. This is all new to me. So I don't know the exact particulars, but I can put them in the description box below or in the blog post that will accompany this video. So here is the box that has just been delivered. I've opened it and saw that it was Pop Funkos. Now I've done a quick count and there's only nine in the box. Unless there are some tucked in at the bottom, I'm going to assume that the other three are going to come in a separate shipment. So what I'll do when they arrive is make a video unboxing those and tack it onto this one. So it's quite likely that I'll be wearing a different outfit. Right, so let's get to it. I don't know what Pop Funkos we've got. If you don't know what Pop Funko is, it is a little collectible figure with big a big head basically and I love them I've always loved collecting things from quite young these are new awesome things that I can collect they come in loads and loads of different themes so this is from the nightmare before Christmas I've also got Walking Dead ones I've got Harry Potter ones Star Wars ones and of course Disney ones and I'm hoping that a lot of these in this box will be Disney because I thumbs up a hell of a lot of Disney Pop Funkos. The way it works is is that whatever you've thumbs up they will pick those Pop Funkos so that it'll always be a surprise you won't necessarily know what's coming and you can down thumb <laughs> thumbs down ones that you definitely don't want and you can do that for whole groups as well so I wasn't interested in certain groups of Pop Funkos so I thumbs them down don't ever want to receive them so I should never ever get them and they also claim that they'll never ever send repeats because once you've got them it keeps the record that you've got them already and they won't repeat them so let's see how that happens obviously as time goes by shut up shell let's get opening first Pop Funko out of this box is Whoever this guy is, Varmic, says Star Wars. He's number 84. I have to confess, I do not have a clue who he is. The other ones in this series on the back of this box is Han Solo, Princess Leia, Admiral Akbar, Nien Num, Sindon, Ithano and Varmic. So I'm wondering if this is like a spin-off. I know they did cartoons and stuff. But I'm going to um, have a look online and see who he is. On the Star Wars wiki, it says that Varmic... Oh, it's an advert now. Close. I mean, thank God he looks cuter as a Pop Funko than what he does there, my gosh. Let's see. Ah, oh, right, okay. He first, Now, I have seen The Force, the Force Awakens, but that's where he first appeared. I obviously missed out on him, or if he was in the film, I didn't pay too much attention. Sorry, mate. But you're at least he's not too ugly looking like he is in his wiki entry. Let's unpack him. The Star Wars ones seem to be bubble heads and they all are on these little plinths as well because I've got Star, what Star, um, I've got Darth Vader and I've got BB-8 which you'll see in my other video. So he's a bubble one and uh, yeah he's not too bad looking, he looks like an evil monkey. Next we've got another Star Wars one. This time wow we've got Captain Phasma, awesome. Right, she's number 65, and also in this series is Ray, Finn, Kylo Ren, BB-8, which I've already got, Poe Dameron, Chewbacca, C-3PO, Captain Phasma, obviously, First Order, Stormtrooper, First Order, Snowtrooper, and First Order, Flame Trooper. Now, where are my... Oh, they're all the way over there. Can't reach them. But she looks pretty cool. Let's open her up. Right, okay. They do come off their plinths, clearly. You can just see there the two little prongs which just go into the bottom of their feet. So I guess you could have them on or off and you can see a little bobble head in action there. She is pretty sweet. I really like that. So that's Captain Phasma. I wonder if there's any more Star Wars ones here. We've got 12 after all. 
next up is another Star Wars one I've just seen through the bubble wrap there. This is from the original trilogy. It's number 53, Bib Fortuna. And also in this series is Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, Boosh. That's when she was dressed up, wasn't it, when she rescued Han. The TIE Fighter pilot, Nalan Chill and Bib Fortuna, which is this guy here. So I'm trying to remember which one that is. Is that Return of the... It's Return of the Jedi, isn't it? That's the one I think he's from. My husband is the Star Wars, knows absolutely everything about it. I've just seen them several times and had to get into it. The first time I ever saw it, I had to get into explaining things to me because I just didn't have a clue what was going on, but I kind of know now, but I'm not a complete know everything about Star Wars. I won't profess to be that person. I'm pretty sure, is he a, I mean, is it a he or a she? Is it a bad guy or not? I have no idea. He looks like he would be a bad guy. But that's that one. So that's another Star Wars one. And actually, as I've just glanced down as I've put this one, as I'm going to put this one back, I've seen there is another Star Wars one. So it looks like it's uh, Star Wars all the way here. I am really happy about this one because it is Admiral Akbar. Now, this is number 81. It is from The Force Awakens. So it's an older Akbar here. He also comes in the same series as um, that Varmic one earlier. So I won't bother saying them all again. It's a trap. <laughs> I love Admiral Akbar. Oh, I'm so glad I've got him. So here he is with his big old bobble fish head alien thing going on. So that's Admiral Akbar from The Force Awakens. Next, we've got a Frozen one, and it's Anna. So she's number 81. Also in the series is Olaf, Sven, Elsa and Kristoff. It's quite cool that we've got a Disney one. I'm so glad that we have, and they weren't all Star Wars. And now I'll just hold it by the little pigtails. So she's in her little blue dress there with the little um, purple cape on. That's when she goes looking for Elsa in the film. She's really, really sweet. You can see there how big the heads can potentially be on these Pop Funkos compared to their bodies. They're like a big old caricature. Oh look, she's got a... Oh, I've not noticed that in any of the others before. I don't know if they all have them. I don't didn't notice them. But yeah, she's got like a little platform here which goes into her shoe. So she's got a little base to sit on, which is quite handy. No, I've definitely not noticed that in any of the others. Definitely not. And if they have been, then what a fool to never have noticed that. In fact, the first time I came across Pop Funkos was while I was looking online for something and saw the Frozen ones a good few years ago now. I remember writing about it on my blog. And so, yeah, so it's pretty cool that we've got another one from the film Frozen. Also a Frozen one, because I've just looked down. We've got Elsa, which is pretty cool. So we've got the, the pair of sisters and she's in the same set as that one before. She's number 82. She is in her ice dress when she starts so going a bit batshit crazy. Now she doesn't have a platform, so no, they don't come in all of them. This is a really nice one. So she's got a long plait at the back. She's holding a little snowflake. Her cloak is kind of translucent. You can just sort of, just sort of see through it. I really like that one. So it's nice to have a pair of sisters. Who have we got next? There's definitely only nine in this box and not twelve. So hopefully the other three are going to turn up soon. Oh, awesome. Right, we've got Pirates of the Caribbean, Barbosa. This is number 173. And also in this set is Captain Jack Sparrow, Davy Jones and Elizabeth Swan. So it would have been nice if it had been Captain Jack. But I'm alright with Captain Barbosa. I love Pirates of the Caribbean. It is one of my favourite adventure type Disney films and also love the ride at Walt Disney World as well in fact the Paris ride is even better because it's newer so guys we've got a nice bit of weight to him that one he's got his awesome hat on he's got a cutlass there he is pretty pretty cool I like him and obviously can't wait to get the other Pirates of the Caribbean ones to go alongside him one more he is also from the Star Wars Awaken, but Awakens, but I'm sure he was in the original trilogy, is Nien Num. Don't know how to say that, but that's number 82. Let's take a look at him, remembering that the Star Wars ones tend to be bobbleheads, which he is as well. There you go. 
Wah, 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 wah. I'm not sure what noise he makes. He's like a monkey looking thing, isn't he? But I do remember him from the films. Wah, 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 wah. And finally, it's Olaf, and I'm so chuffing, pleased that I've got Olaf. So he's number 79, he's also in the same set as Anna and Elsa, and so that just means Sven and Kristoff in this particular one. And it's quite fitting that I should get him today because it's a really lovely sunny day, feels like summer, and as you all know, Olaf loves the summertime. Now he is really cute so cute that I'm not even going to put him back in the box, he's going to go straight in the tiny bit of space that I've got left on my uh, little tiny shelf over here. So there is Olaf, the snowman. In addition, in my previous video about my pop, existing Pop Funko collection, I mentioned that I had a Maleficent and a Captain, uh, Captain Jack, a Jack Skellington Santa or Sandy Claus that I didn't have sort of hand when I was showing you the others because they was up in the loft with our seasonal decorations. My husband went up in the loft and got them out for me, bless him. So here is my Maleficent. She's my favourite Disney villain. Always has been, in fact, Sleeping Beauty is pretty much one of my favourite classic Disney films. And Princess Aurora is my favourite Disney princess. Jack Skeleton as Sandy Claus. So I've now got quite the collection of Jack Skeleton ones. You'll see the others in the other video. Right, as an add-on to my opening of the pops yesterday, the other three have arrived just now. So I'm just making a quick video hence me wearing a completely different outfit and probably have my hair different and not much makeup on either so uh, that's why I suddenly look different time jump right so pops have just arrived we ordered 12 nine arrived yesterday another three hopefully are in here so I'm going to open it and see what we got okay off the bat I can see there's another Star Wars one there's quite a lot of Star Wars ones yesterday and we've got Finn and he is from the Force Awakens, the latest Star Wars film. He's number 59. And I mentioned yesterday slash earlier the other ones in this particular series. So I won't say it all again. Let's open him up. And like all of the other Star Wars pops, he's a bobblehead one. And he also comes on a little leaf. So that is Finn. He's my sister's favourite character. Another Frozen one. Oh, this looks like, oh, this is really sweet. This is from um, Frozen Fever, which was the short that they had before the Cinderella live, um, like live action film that they made. Was it last year? Maybe the year before? I've not seen it yet, unfortunately. It's Anna and she's got the little snugglies with her, which if you haven't seen the short, Elsa gets sick and every time she sneezes, out come these little snugglies which is so much cute and funny, to be honest. But there is Anna in her lovely springtime dress. She's got a lovely sunflower on the back and a blue bow and her pretty dress and these cute little snowy guys. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, that's a stand. I'm going to have to check all my other boxes, actually, because if there are stands in them, that'll be a good thing because some have got really tiny feet and they don't stand very well. Just pop it in the bottom and then she can stand up properly. And here are the little snugglings. <laughs> These are so damn cute. Here they are. One final one is also a frozen one. And this one is Coronation Anna. So, um, oh, I should say actually, in this frozen fever one there is also Elsa that you can get and she also comes with snow glaze so hopefully that will come in our future subscriptions now this one is Anna in her coronation gown she's number 119 and that is from series two of the pops now the ones that I got earlier slash yesterday that was series one in this series which this one is from you've also got young Elsa and Anna separately coronation Elsa summer Olaf an upside down Olaf, Elsa with an orb and scepter and the marshmallow 
thing, you know, the big monster thing that um, Elsa conjures up. So let's quickly open this Anna. And there we see her in her coronation gown, which is golden, sort of greeny blue. Got her hair tied up in a ribbon. And so that's coronation Anna. That's three extra pops to make up the 12 from our first subscription. We have changed our subscription to just two a month because we certainly can't afford 12 a month as much as we would like to. So next month I will only be showing you two. So, or I might save a couple of months and do several at once, but I don't think I can wait that long to do a blind unboxing. So um, we'll see what happens really. So until next time, bye.